It is official. Zayn Malik is a bona fide solo artist. The former One Direction boy bender has released his steamy debut uh, single and music video, and it's called Pillow Talk. It's a paradise and it's a war zone. You might recognize the video star, Gigi Hadid, who is Malik's rumored girlfriend. The two have been spotted together numerous times since November, and they certainly get steamy in this video. Pillow Talk is a much different sound than Malik's output in 1D. The singer shocked fans when he announced his departure from the band last March. His solo album, Mind of Mine, is set for a March release. I love to wake up next to you. Just a little more. And it's not there in his school. At the same time, the music industry is mourning the loss of another legend, guitarist and founding member of Jefferson Airplane, Paul Kantner. The 74-year-old died yesterday of multiple organ failure. He had suffered a heart attack earlier this week. Kantner co-founded Jefferson Airplane back in 1965. They pioneered the psychedelic sound and scored hits like White Rabbit and Somebody to Love. Kantner was also a founding member of their spin-off project, Jefferson Starship, the band he played with up until his death. Jefferson Airplane is set to receive a Lifetime Achievement Award at the 58th Annual Grammy Awards in just over two weeks. The Academy has announced its first slate of presenters amid the Oscars So White controversy, and they include Kevin Hart and Whoopi Goldberg. Earlier this month, Goldberg slammed the idea of joining other stars in boycotting the show over its all-white acting nominees. Some Canadians will take the stage as presenters too. Ryan Gosling, rising star Jacob Tremblay, and The Weeknd, who's up for an Oscar for his song, Earned It, from Fifty Shades of Grey. I wish you were here with me. Are you okay? I'm hearing all sorts of things about a ship breaking up. If you ever find yourself stranded at sea, Chris Pine is definitely the guy you want coming to rescue you. That's what he does in The Finest Hours, based on a true story about one of the Coast Guard's greatest rescues. TK talked with Pine and his co-stars in L.A. How did you guys handle the filming of it? I mean, with the wind machines, the like water being thrown at you every day. We just kind of withstood it, and Ben thankfully brought uh, those little um, you know, speakers for oh music, God. so we would, we would try <laughs> to dance get party. by having dance parties. What were you playing? Yeah, everything. Really? We had... Uh, like we funk? Went, a, lot of funk. a lot of yeah. funk. Yeah. Had a Sinatra phase. Wow. Keeps you warm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love how it captures the bygone brand of manhood that seems to be missing in film these days. Yeah, definitely. I think that the, the movie also looks and feels like an old-fashioned movie. We all live or we all die. Hold on! The Finest Hour splashes into theaters today. 150 take two. Marker. Lovesick in Winnipeg? The Canadian city is playing host to the cast and crew of a new rom-com starring Canucks Jacob Tierney and Jessica Paré of Mad Men fame. The flick also features the iconic Fred Penner and one of our favorites, Jay Baruchel. Entertainment City went behind the scenes with Wheeler in the Morning's Erica Natividad to catch up with the stars. Well, Lovesick is about um, a guy going through a bad phase of his life, and it's all kind of triggered by the fact that his ex-girlfriend is getting married to another man. And it's a, a love square as opposed to a love triangle. It's about um, falling in love, falling apart, and finding yourself again. Lovesick is set for release later this year. And coming up Monday, we'll have all the highlights from the 22nd Annual Screen Actors Guild Awards.